this is Heather. I am going to teach you how to use Puppet Warp in Photoshop. So this is a pretty cool tool because it's going to allow you to manipulate photographs um, as if you were a puppet master and could put strings exactly where you wanted them on people and move their arms, move their hair, move their head back, um, like if it's a profile shot or in this case take this little pouty face, turn this frown upside down. You know when you get those pictures where everybody looks good except for one person because they're not quite smiling? This is the quick solution to that. And the cool thing about it is it allows you to make changes that the person would not necessarily recognize. And you don't have to Photoshop at, you know, in a smiling mouth or anything like that. Now obviously I can't make her teeth, I can't make her have a toothy grin, but I can at least take the downturn of the mouth and turn it up a little. Obviously this model was probably um, intending to be pouty, but that's okay. We're going to make her happier. So what you're going to do first, well first what I'm going to do is zoom in on her mouth so that we can see it a little bit better. So the first thing you're going to do is grab your lasso tool. You want to use the regular lasso tool, not the magnetic lasso tool for this particular um, situation. Maybe if you were doing a hand or something, you might want to get, you might be able to use the magnetic tool, but for this mouth, I'll show you why later. It's kind of funny. Okay, so the lasso tool, you're going to go ahead and lasso around her mouth, and this is the area that you are going to apply the puppet warp to. So what it's going to do, you've got the selection, and you actually want to first make it into a new layer. So you can do that one of two ways. You can either go up to the layer tab, select new, and you're going to do layer via copy. Alternatively, you can right click on the selection, which I like to do because then you're not moving all around the, the um, workspace. Right click and then select layer via copy. And you see over on the right now you have a layer. If you turn off the background, you just have your floating mouth. So up here in the feather, you want to apply a feather. Um, 11 allows it a little bit of a feather. It kind of softens things a little bit, doesn't make it look such a hard edge of what you're moving, and it will be less likely to be noticeable. Obviously, you don't want anyone to notice that you've manipulated their face. So, I've got it at 11, and um, the layer is selected. I'm going to go to Edit, select Puppet Warp, and nothing happened. Because this Show Mesh box is not selected, it may be by default, but I've been playing with the tool, so um, right now it's not. So all of a sudden it puts this mesh on here. Now each point is a, um, you, you want to have more points that you can manipulate. So I'm going to go to the density here and select more points. And it allows for more points to be, be manipulated. Now what you're going to do next is apply these pins. It almost, um, think of it like a pin board that you're going to either keep down or move around. So I'm going to actually turn the mesh off right now so that I can see what I'm doing. It's kind of hard with her lip color there behind the mesh. So I'm going to apply these pins. And the first ones I'm going to apply here are at the top of her lips and the bottom. This is going to tell me not to move this. This will be my reminder not to move these. They will actually make them stay in place as well. Um, and I'll show you that. So these are the ones I won't move. These are the ones that I will move, the ones in the corners of her mouth, because the lips don't move around on a person's face when they smile, just the corners go up and down, right? So here I have my pins. Now what you can do, you can select multiple pins and move them both at the same time, or you could do them one at a time. You can also use, you can click and drag when you're going to manipulate. Okay, you could turn her into a little like cockeyed smile here, undo that. You could um, use just your arrow key to nudge it just a little bit, which sometimes is really handy when you're trying to make something really specific. Um, you can select all of them by holding down the shift key and selecting each one. You see there's a little white dot in the middle saying that it is selected. You could move the whole mouth up. See, that's weird, right? Um, or you can just select, I'm going to deselect these. These are the ones I don't want to move. And like I said, you could either, if I drag this up, they're both going to drag. Okay, freaky. But if I use my arrows just a little bit, you will see that just little by little, it's going to change, change her look. Okay, 
You don't want to do too much that she looks like the Joker. Okay, you do want to know that you can do a shift arrow though and do this really dramatic, but you can see where that mask now is hanging off the bottom of her chin. You can go up, super freaky as well. Okay, but we're just going to go up just a little bit with the arrows so that it just changes enough of her face that she doesn't look like the grumpy one in the family. And there you go. That is applying Puppet Warp by putting these pins in. You could also do the eyes if you wanted to. You could do the eyebrows to make them look a little bit happier. You could do all kinds of things with this Puppet Warp. Play with it. It's pretty cool. So now from here you're just going to go ahead and and save it. But I did want to show you what would happen if you use the magnetic tool. Oh, let me show you quickly here. Turn the um, this layer um, off. Oh, because I didn't set it. So you actually have to set the commit to your changes with the Puppet Warp. Um, I'm going to give her a little bit more by either selecting Enter or check this checkbox here. Now we can do it. So now if I turn this off, it goes back to her sad face. And now she's a little bit happier. And when you zoom out here, you would never really know. But I did want to show you what happened when I was playing around with it with the magnetic tool. I did the magnetic tool on her mouth and it became this like kind of freaky um, like overlay mouth that I could just pick up and move around. So certain objects can be magnetic tooled, certain ones can't like a mouth that it's really impossible to get every single edge of the lip. So I like this one a lot better. Like I said, you could check it out, see your work. Like, does that look different? Yes, it does. Does she look happier? Yes, she does. And there you have it. That's Puppet Warp. Check it out. Play around with it. Have fun.